Hello folks and welcome back to another video, it's Francesco here. Today we're going to be diving into four must watch daily planner applications right now. And what I wanted to do in today's video is overview four that are sort of catching my attention, but also to talk a little bit about the rise of these daily planner applications and their impact on to-do list applications currently. So for those who don't know, daily planners are essentially ways like a to-do list application to organize your week ahead. But what's different is these applications help us to plan the day ahead. A little bit of hand-holding, as well as the ability to visualize both your calendar and your tasks together. And sometimes with the ability to consolidate the existing tools we have. Now, daily planners are a little bit different from to-do list apps because they go that step further and they are a little bit more premium. Priced between $10 and $20 per month. Now I want to start you out with four of these, so let's start with one called Motion. Now you're right in hearing that, it's not Notion. Motion helps you to build your schedule for the day using your tasks and events. And what it aims to do is it aims to reduce the amount of meetings you got for more focused deep work. This is probably the most premium and feature heavy tool right now on the market and it also embeds your calendar applications for more seamless meetings. Now right now it's priced at $19 per month which is quite high with team options naturally available but Motion is gaining a lot of attention in the market for those who want more focused work sessions and then those who are willing to combine their calendar and tasks together. The second one is Sunsama. We've done a review on Sansama and most recently I've been playing around with it myself, which you can check out the video if it's available as we speak. Now Sansama helps you to plan the day and weekdays ahead and it's also got some really healthy features like shutdown mode to help you switch off at the end of a day. You can also run meeting notes inside of it, organize your channels to separate work and side projects and also set weekly objectives to help align your day tasks with your week ahead. It also is different from Motion because it consolidates apps like Todoist, Asana, Clickham and Trello and a few more to help you bring them into one experience versus losing those tasks out. Now, if you go for the annual plan, it's priced a little bit cheaper at $16 compared to Motion. But if you go for the monthly pricing, it's $20. You can find a link in the description to these. The third one is AkiFlow. Now, this is a fairly new application, but it helps you to bring all of the tasks together from other tools. So very much a consolidation experience. It's got a really attractive design as well as easy to manage for your tasks and there's a really cool command bar which is perfect for fast capture of new tasks and reorganizing tasks for coming days ahead. You can also collect from Slack, Gmail, Todoist and many more and they do have a Zapier integration which does help with speedier integrations. Now they're priced at a more reasonable $15 per month but they are growing in attention and traction more recently. The number four is Friday and actually this is one that is a little bit different because it's more of a team tool than a personal tool, but they're more focused on helping you to plan your day ahead. And there are individual plans for this, which I believe are priced at $4 per month. I'll double check that and put it in the link in the description. But you've got routines for planning, and routine for planning yourself and your team. You've also got the ability to see a plan of your day ahead and bring in tools from other applications so you can see the tasks from apps like Trello, Todoist and many more. And they've got a generous free plan as well for you to explore and it's very interesting in terms of what it can do. Now it's really interesting to see this market grow and I definitely think that to-do list applications probably got something uh, you know it should be a little bit worried because these daily planner applications are trying to overtake the market although they do have premium pricing which might limit them in the future however very interesting to say the least all the links to these folks will be in the description below but i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to check out more of my medium writing you can find the link in the description anyway folks thank you so much and we'll talk very soon make sure to subscribe and like this video cheerio